What's up, guys? Back for another uh, movie review. Uh, I've been doing these kind of impromptu movie reviews lately. Um, I haven't uploaded any yet, so I don't know. By the time you see this one, maybe there's one before it. Uh, I guess I'm kind of just dipping my toes into the movie review world. Does the you know does the, does the internet need another guy giving half-assed movie reviews? Probably not, but uh, just kind of you know testing the water, seeing if this is something I might want to do a little bit more serious. Uh, you know, put actual time and research into and stuff like that for, you know, making an actual quality, what I would consider a quality movie review. This one's just, uh, again, just kind of testing the waters and uh, I just felt compelled to do it, I guess. So what the hell am I talking about, right? You're probably wondering. Well, uh, I picked up this movie called Glorious. Uh, I actually just picked this up yesterday and amazingly watched it today instead of letting it sit around for a month or two before I actually get to it. Uh, so, as you can see on the cover, this is starring uh, Ryan Quantin, who I, I gotta say I'm not familiar with, and uh, J.K. Simmons, who we all know from de decades and decades of stuff. He's one of those guys that everyone just seems to love. I like the guy a lot myself. Yeah, as you can see, it's a Shudder original, uh, which is something that I've kind of, uh, I don't know, I've kind of been enamored with. I, I guess you could say not all of them have been good. Uh, you get a nice mixed bag of movies. Uh, I just like Shudder. Um, I don't know. I think it's a great streaming service. It's really came a long way. It kind of sucked when it first started, and I'm glad to see that they've pushed on. I've heard rumors. Uh, I've heard rumors of them possibly, uh, you know, maybe not lasting too much longer. They've had to kind of downsize, and they've they've uh, they've got you know they've had to lay employees off. I don't know what's going on with that, but for me, for being a horror fan, uh, you know, Shutter is my go-to streaming service. I no longer use Netflix much. I I, I don't use Hulu much. Uh, I think Shudder is very cool. If you're a horror fan and you haven't checked it out, you know, I, I don't know what you're waiting on. But uh, so I saw this movie sitting in the store. Uh, my son and I actually walked past it and instantly it was kind of funny because, you know, he's uh, he's kind of a lot like me in a lot of ways. So we instantly just kind of flocked right to this movie and he goes, whoa, dad, look at this. I pick it up. I take a look at it. Obviously, you know, if you know a little bit about me, you know that I'm a massive H.P. Lovecraft fan. Uh, so we both took a look at it. I, I picked it up, and I'm like, that does look cool. I'm not going to buy that. I've been burned. First of all, I've been burned by plenty of Shudder originals, and I've been burned on this, uh, you know, this cosmic horror thing. Why am I still holding this? This cosmic horror thing that has been, you know, pretty big over these last few years. Um, there's been kind of a resurgence in H.P. Lovecraft's work, and there's been... Uh, filmmakers that have actually, you know, been kind of dabbling in uh, not so much Lovecraft um, uh, ad ad adaptations, but kind of Lovecraft-inspired work, which I think is really cool because that's something that I've wanted for the longest time, and it just seemed like, I don't know, just from what I've read, you know, filmmakers are just, uh, a lot of them just don't want to go down that road. I guess, you know, there's a lot of people say, oh, Lovecraft's work is, is too... Uh, it's just too hard to adapt into a movie, um, but you know not only Lovecraft adaptions, but again you know Lovecraft inspired stuff. So I'm glad to see kind of a resurgence in you know Lovecraft's uh, influence, and uh, so this is no different. Again, it, this is not an adaptation. This is a just a you know a, a Lovecraft influenced kind of cosmic horror, if you will. Uh, what is it about? So you got. Wes, played by Ryan Quantin, something bad has happened to him. He's very upset. He's very disheveled looking. He uh, he pulls up to a rest stop, and it, it you begin to get the feeling that he just got out of uh, of a relationship, and he's taking it very badly. I think we've all been there, and you know we can relate to to how he probably feels. Um, he gets out. Uh, he walks towards the rest stop to use the restroom. No one's around at all. It's quiet, so he decides to spend the night there. I've never seen a rest stop with like a fire pit, but this one had a fire pit, so he makes a fire. He's got a big bottle of whiskey. He's, you know, he's he's coping. He's he's severely drunk on the whiskey. He's just chugging it straight out of the bottle. He has his fire, passes out next to the fire, wakes up in the morning, doesn't really remember how he got there. I think we've all been there as well. Um, you know, the fire is smoldering. He, he drank his entire bottle of whiskey. He feels like shit. So he gets up and goes into the bathroom. You know, he's throwing up and stuff like that. You know, he feels like garbage. And then all of a sudden, uh, somebody in the stall next to him starts talking. Um, not in a weird, creepy way. In a, in a very friendly, uh, intellectual-sounding uh, 
voice. You know, are you okay? And he starts to, you know, just ask him questions. What's your name? Stuff like that. And, uh, you know, he, he does this thing, talks to the voice for a while. And then he's like, well, uh, I'm going to go. This is getting a little weird. And he goes to open the door and the door's locked from, uh, apparently from the outside. He cannot get out. And the voice starts talking to him more and more and tells him kind of what's going on. He explains to him that he is some sort of cosmic god, which, of course, Wes isn't buying at all. As the god starts, you know, kind of proving to him that, hey, I, you know, I'm not a dude in this stall. I am, I, am, I am something from the cosmos. And, you know, you slowly, as the story unfolds, he, he starts to tell him, you know, why you're here. This is all, you know, this is all destiny, basically. Uh, me and you were meant to come together. There's something I need from you in order to, you know, to let you go. And without giving too much away, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much the general premise. He won't let Wes look at him. He basically tells him, like, your you know, human species would not be able to comprehend <laughs> nor deal with what I look like. As, as is in many H.P. Lovecraft stories, uh, a lot of the, uh, the Elder Gods are not meant to be seen by human eyes. Uh, in fact, that they're so horrific looking that if a human were to gaze upon them, they would instantly lose their mind. They, just the human mind is not able to comprehend or, or cope with what they just saw, which I think is a really fucking cool concept. There are not a lot of actors in this movie. There's there's uh, J.K. Simmons, who only does the voice of the, the cosmic being, and Ryan Quantin playing Wes, who's you know definitely the main character. You do see flashbacks of Wes's kind of things that led to his current situation, his uh, his girlfriend and stuff like that. You get to see her quite a bit. Uh, there is one other actor that comes into the play in the play. He he uh, he comes into the bathroom at one point, and he's only in the movie for a couple of minutes, so he's not a not a not a not a main character by any means. I was really thoroughly entertained by this. I did not. I don't think I looked away. Through the whole entire runtime, it's not a real long movie, you know, eighty minutes, per which is perfect. Um, there's, there's, there's really no filler in this movie. Uh, you know, I, I expected you to, you know, I did read a few reviews before I purchased this. It's one of those movies where it's, you know, pretty minimal. There's, you know, one actor locked in a bathroom this entire time, and I just, to me, that just sounds boring. And we've all seen movies like that, and we've seen movies like that that work out. So at the end of the day, I thought this was a really fun. Uh, you know, cosmic horror type movie. Uh, if you're a fan of H.P. Lovecraft, I think you'd love this. Um, it's not, it's not overly scary. It's not even. I, I wouldn't even call it scary. Uh, it's it's it's. There's some bloody parts. There's uh, there's and there is a decent amount of tension. And there is also a, uh, you know, I won't spoil it for you, but there is a. Uh, there is actually a lot that I did not see coming. Like a, the more you get to know about Wes and how his kind of his story unfolds and you get to see into his past. And like I said, what led up to this situation, uh, I didn't see any of that coming. Uh, he, he, uh, he, you know, Wes is a pretty normal guy, but let's put it this way. He has some really, really fucking dark secrets. Uh, there's more to him as there are, unfortunately with a lot of people, there's much more to him than, uh, than meets the eye. So uh, I'd, I'd highly recommend this, again, to Lovecraft fans first and foremost. But if you're just a fan of of, of horror movies in general, I mean, I, I could still recommend this to you. I, I found it quite engaging. Uh, sure, there's some flaws, but um, it was kind of a breath of fresh air. Like I said, a lot of the... Um, I've, been, I've been burnt recently by some of these Lovecraftian horror movies. Some of them are just awful. Don't check out a movie called The Deep Ones. Do not. It's got a great cover. It, it will entice you. If you're a, a Lovecraft fan, you'll probably blind by it like I did, and then you'll regret it because it's awful. So don't don't watch the deep ones. Uh, check out Glorious instead. I just thought it was really fun and, and again, kind of a breath of fresh air in the, in the cosmic horror, uh, you know, genre, if you will. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't have a lot of complaints about this. In fact, I'd, I'd watch it again. You know, I'll probably watch it again in a couple of weeks. Uh, as far as the score... I think I'm going to go ahead and, and this might sound generic, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid 7.5. Keep in mind, you know, five being average. I consider this a couple steps above average. Again, it kept my interest throughout the entire movie. I was never bored. The pacing was excellent. 
the the way that it unfolded and you know kind of became very unexpected i thought that was a cool nice little touch you expect ryan to be uh just this average guy and he's in this situation and whatever but you know there there's so much more to his character that i think you will not see coming um i thought the acting was pretty decent jk simmons of course is charming as always um and again if you're a lovecraft fan i think you'll really enjoy this but even if you're not uh, you know, maybe this will get you into checking out some of Lovecraft's uh, uh, writing. If you're a fan of sci-fi or a horror and you haven't read any of Lovecraft's work, I, I, I don't see why yeah, you wouldn't enjoy it because it's, uh, it's amazing, to be honest. So um, anyone seen this movie? I, uh, I haven't really heard much talk, but I you know made a post on Instagram and it seems like some people are actually checking this out. So I kind of thought this would be one of those, you know, another Shudder original that just kind of uh, just kind of went as fast as it came. But uh, is this going to be a cult classic, you know, movie that people are going to talk about for years to come? I doubt it, but uh, it's a cool movie and I'd like to see uh, maybe I'll check out more from this director, uh, Rebecca McKendry. I'd like to look into uh, in, in, in there, you know, see what see what else they've done. So. Yeah, let's talk about it. I, I, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, the reviews on IMDb are super polarizing. They're, you know, people seem to either love this movie or hate it. Not a whole lot of in between. I gotta say, the people that hated it and gave it like a one or two out of ten, I, I really, I really don't. I respect everyone's opinion, but I don't really see that. I don't see how you could give it a, a one or a two. I mean, come on. There are far worse movies. I, I don't know. I really enjoyed this. So, anyways. Let's talk about it. Uh, hope you guys are having a good weekend or wherever you're at. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but uh, I'll probably post it uh, during the week. So hopefully you had a good weekend and hopefully you're having a good week. So as always, uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Louis says hello. We're going to go for a walk and uh, we'll talk soon, guys. Huh? Fucking cheers.